In Maharashtra, it is still the Aurangzeb war of words that's still on between our Netas. Maharashtra's Deputy Chief Minister is lashing out over the controversy and uh, I quote the Netas here. Muslims are not Aurangzeb's descendants, says Deputy Chief Minister Fadnavis. Aurangzeb and clan came from outside. Deputy Chief Minister Fadnavis very interestingly says uh, that Muslims in here in India are not the uh, descendants of Aurangzeb. Our only king is Shivaji. A very interesting comment coming in. Remember, because there was a lot of controversy over some netas saying if there were members of the Muslim community that should be seen as the descendants of Aurangzeb. It had uh, taken communal overtones. There had been clashes in Maharashtra in different areas over Aurangzeb posters that were flashed in one of the rallies. Now, Deputy Chief Minister Fadnavis, is he trying to calm down the situation? Is he ensuring that the Muslim community is not offended, saying, and this he adds, that only Shivaji is our king because he was from India and uh, that Aurangzeb and clan came from outside. Muslims cannot be seen as their descendants. So listen in first to what Fadnavis is saying. राजा तर एक साय अरे तो मंचे छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज यंचा शिवाय हम साथ दूसरा राजा हो चकत ना है अरे माता सवाल है मला सांगा हम चाह भारत आत्मे जे मुसलमान है ते ही कोनी आवरंजेबाचे वंशज ना ही सांगा कौन आवरंजेबाचा वंशज है अरे आवरंजेब अंते सक खानदान ते तिकड़ ना ले लो क्या ठिकाट ना अपना बाहर � अशा प्रकार से खानदान देशाला जो राष्ट्रवादी मुसलमान है जो राष्ट्रीय विचार मुसलमान है तो ही औरंगजेबाला कभी मान्यता दी नहीं तो ही छत्रपति शिवराया मानतो calm down communal tensions and say, but how can Muslims be seen as Aurangzeb descendants? They have always been here, they're part of India, it's Shivaji only that's our king. Well, yes, absolutely, to answer your question straight up, uh, he is definitely trying to calm down the communal tension uh, over social media posts glorifying Aurangzeb, several clashes and protests had erupted in different parts of the state. So when, uh, when the Deputy Chief Minister uh, Devendra Fadnavis is clearly saying that those who try to glorify Aurangzeb or try to glorify this whole situation will be dealt with in a very, very stern manner. That is why he said action is being taken against those who were involved in creating some kind of ruckus and he also used this as an opportunity to target Uddhav Thakre over his silence when Vanchit Bahujan Agadi chief um, uh, Ambedkar had gone uh, to visit uh, these places and also said that uh, the Indian Muslims are descendants of Aurangzeb. That is when he upped the ante and attacked Uddhav Thakre asking him what his stand on this issue was. How was he supporting Ambedkar and the kind of comments that he was making uh, uh, and especially in wake of the communal tension that has taken place in the state. So these are the kind of comments that are coming in and he also told Uddhav Thakre saying that uh, the, the real Shiv Sena would never ally with the NCP or the Congress. Bala Sahib Thakre, the late Bala Sahib Thakre had once said that he would rather shut down his party than to uh, join hands with the other two parties. So these are the kind of comments that are coming in and this comment was made by Fadnavis very strongly in Akola in wake of the nine years of completion of the Modi government. So these are the kind of details that we have at this point in time, but he is putting all sort of uh, baseless theories and rumors uh, to rest. He said that the true descendants and the Indian Muslims will always uh, respect and revere Shivaji as their one true king rather than looking up to Aurangzeb. Yeah, thank you so much, Dave Kotak, for the latest on that. So is he trying to ensure that at least with Maharashtra they do not lose support of the Muslim group, the Muslim vote bank, or perhaps is going to be leading to another controversy? We'll be tracking the latest coming in from Maharashtra.